Hey folks, so I uh, took a little trip recently, uh, visiting some folks, and uh, while I was there, I managed to stop by a uh, local locksmith where I was, and they had some uh, cool stuff that you just don't see very much in uh, even a good locksmith store here in New York City. And uh, this, you know, it looks like your regular American puck lock, uh, but this is actually the Series H10. Uh, this one's from November of 2014, and the key weighs a little bit different from what you might be used to because it uses this double-sided wafer key based on the old uh, Chicago or Illinois lock company uh, double wafer system. But, just like all the others, it snaps open, it is not key retained by default, and uh, there you can see the other big difference is the retaining screw. Uh, because there's no trap door uh, and retaining nut with a flathead. So, let's get this guy locked up again. Just make sure I remember what direction I'm supposed to do this in. Yeah. Okay. Compliance. Uh, now, you, remember, you may remember a while back I uh, showed you these uh, Peterson Chicago wafer jigglers, and they are for exactly this type of lock. And basically, what you do is, you take it, uh, this slot is to accommodate that bit of warding in the middle. Wiggle that in, a bit of turning pressure, and hopefully, you manage to angle it such that it will move everything into place. Didn't get quite right there. Try around, still applying that same uh, clockwise pressure, and there we go, we got it open. Then we can lock it back up and pull our jiggler out. There are four different profiles, you flip them around, they're double sided, and you just progress through the set until you find the one that gets it open. In this case, since we have the keys, uh, we already know what we're looking for. Now, I'm going to take this screw out. Disassembling this one is a little bit uh, awkward. Let's see if okay. okay, we've got that retaining screw out. That guy right there. So you can see the hole there now. And if we get some light in there, get my flashlight for a bit of extra light. You may just be able to make out at the bottom of that hole there is a little pin just peeking out and what that does is that's what actually holds the cylinder in place there's a groove running about halfway around it acts as a rotation limiter so when you want to get this thing out you got to take that screw out and wrap it on the table until it pops out and now you can see where that pin is. And so this is what the actual wafer packs look like. You can see there's actually two at a time, each moving in an opposing direction. And when you put the key in, get them out here. Everything gets pulled inside and it's able to turn. And there's that groove that the retaining pin rides in, which also acts as a rotation limiter. And if we look inside, there is the cam. So, if we want to reassemble it once we've rekeyed it, for instance, uh, you got to line that up correctly. You've got to make sure that this groove is facing towards the pinhole for the retaining pin. There we go. And then flip it over this way. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I kind of have to hold this cylinder in. And I 
thing just does not like to go. So, bear with me a second here. Put all this back together. No parts lost or dropped yet. That's nice. finally gotten back at least mostly into place. Drop that retaining screw in. Try to guide it in to the screw hole. There we go. Put it all back in. And now that key still functions nice and smooth without everything falling apart. So up again, get that key in, uh, now this is a fairly fine-tuned uh, wafer mechanism so you do need to keep it fairly well lubricated and you do have to watch out for rust even though that is mostly brass in there, uh, brass can still corrode, so anyway. Uh, just because a lot of people don't get to see the H10, you don't see them in, uh, you don't see them on the store shelves very often. Uh, but they are still making them, so you can still uh, order them from a good locksmith that uh, carries American Lock. So, until next time, folks. Have fun and happy picking. <laughs>